Hey everyone, Mayhem here, come to you live from the Discord dimension of another episode of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews, where today we will be reviewing My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 14, Suited for Success. Booyah! And now let's get into this. Now, what it, the plot synapses for this episode. It's almost time for the Grand Galloping Gala, and all the main six need dresses. Rarity decides to make them dresses. She makes brilliant dresses and schedules a fashion show, though the main six don't like their dresses. So, Rarity remakes them uh, to be exactly what the main six desire, but they're extremely ugly, and Rarity's humiliated at the fashion show. And in the end, uh, the main six realize their mistake, and uh, they put on the dresses that Rarity made for them, and it turns out it's good. Now, what did I think about this episode? Well, you know what I thought? This is my least favorite episode yet in the series. And you want to know why? Well, it suffers from all the same mistakes as the last episode, uh, uh, Fall Weather Friends. Now, what I said to Fall Weather Friends was that it wasn't that, it was barely f any jokes at all. It just was, it just was kind of boring. Uh, the only thing that kind of saved it was Twilight Sparkle being smart and uh, the morals and the fact that they're actually nice to Spike for once. Well, uh, fall, uh, Suited for Success suffers from all the same problems and more. The only thing in this that's still really redeeming is the moral, and that's the only thing, and that moral isn't that good. Well, the joke... Usually I tell you at least one or two or maybe even three or four funny jokes from the episode like that really made me laugh. And you know what? I had zero jokes from the entire episode that made me laugh. Even in uh, Fall With Their Friends, there were two, uh, two jokes that I laughed at. And this, I did not laugh once the entire freaking episode. And it suffered from the same mistake as Fall With Their Friends. It was not comedy based and the problem is i uh, the thing that really breaks this for me is i could accept fall weather friends because it was just one mistake and i could get past if you make one mistake it doesn't mean you're bad you just made a simple mistake and you're still uh, the episode's uh, uh, good because it's just a, a one time mistake well suited for success the episode directly after it severed from the exact same thing so they literally made the exact same mistake, the exact same problems, twice in a row. Fool me once, same on you. Fool me twice, same on me. And now I'm not having any more of it because uh, Fall With Their Friends is acceptable because it happened once. But twice in a row, that's just where I draw the line. Uh, now, what are some things I really hate about this episode? Well, once again, Twilight Spark goes back to being dumb and unthoughtful. Which is the complaint I have for mainly this entire season. So, she was just smart and fall with her friends, which is a good thing. But now she's just abusing Rarity's kindness. And that is just the jerkiest thing to do. She's smart. She should know that uh, you should not abuse someone's kindness and, you, and generosity. She grew up with Celestia. Celestia gave her a chance. I highly doubt that Twilight Sparkle abused her chance that Celestia gave her. And so, she must have already learned this lesson at least once. I just can't believe it. And the thing that's really interesting about the episode was, I've heard places before, I can't remember where, I think it was the YouTuber Candid Cream, but I heard, uh, well, some YouTuber, I think it was Candid Cream, wrote how all the characters from Student for Success accepted one, uh, were were personified of one type of customer. Like, for example, uh, Rare, uh, Rainbow Dash is the person who doesn't know what she wants. Uh, Applejack's the one who doesn't des uh, understand fashion. And Fluttersize the one who uh, thinks she knows everything to know about fashion, but she really doesn't. So, and that's like the only redeeming factor other than the moral for this entire episode. And that's just a little interesting tidbit that's not... You can't say for your main redeemable factor, you just got a little tidbit of information that it kind of uh, parallels real-life customers. That is, that's interesting, but that can't be a saving grace. And that just really annoys me. What is there to say about this episode? Nothing. When it comes to the moral, of course, the moral is... Uh, yeah, don't abuse your care. Uh, don't abuse your generosity and trust the professionals. 
don't take your uh, art, your skill into your uh, like fashion your own hands. You don't understand fashion. Trust the professionals, which is good because uh, abusing someone's generosity is bad, uh, and that's just a horrible thing to do. But it's doing the same thing as fall weather friends because fall weather friends it helps set up. In essence, it helps set up Applejack's place as the element of loyalty. And I'm not messing it up like last episode. I'm not calling her the element of harmony, the element of loyalty. I'm not going to make that mistake anymore. But in this episode, there's so in ra uh, rarity as the element of generosity, and there's establishing her place, which establishing their place and their personality rule can be done right if it's entertaining, good, and fun, and it's not just a bore fest. This was a bore fest. Probably the first time I've been completely bored through the entire series up until this point. I tried to have fun during the episode, but when I look back on it, I just... No, there's... Uh, it was just... It doesn't suffer from being bad, per se. It just... It just... It falls apart by being unmemorable and not important. Like, if this episode had never existed... Would it have really changed anything? And the answer to that is no. Nothing in the world would have changed had this episode had never aired, except maybe a little learning about rarity being the element of generosity, but that's been covered in many other episodes. So, it can be done right, but this is not an example of it being right. I'm just glad that I'm coming up to episodes like uh, Feeling Pinky Keen, which I remember being pretty good, and... Uh, Sonic Rainboom, which I remember being an amazing episode. So the last few episodes, the last three or four episodes, has been kind of a slump. The first 10 or so, ten to 11 episodes were really good. Then we got into a tiny mid-season slump, and with Sonic Rainboom, I know we're going to come out of it. And I got really annoyed. that I had to, like, I, I watched the episode, and an hour later I was like, okay, what do I remember about the episode? And I thought to myself, I was like, I remember nothing. Nothing was memorable except, like, the moral and the basic plot. There's nothing memorable about this episode. There's barely any redeeming factors. One of them just being an interesting tidbit that you can think about. And it's it just... it would The series would be just as good if this episode was gone. I just don't like this episode. It does not deserve to exist... It's just kind of a stain on season one after the season's been... Uh, the first 12 or 11 episodes have been really good. Uh, but I understand a lot of series have mid-season sl uh, slumps. But I can survive that. I will survive until Sonic Rainboom. And I'm pretty sure Feeling Pinky Keen will be a really good episode. But that's all I have to say. And because this episode was just repetitive, boring, unmemorable, and non-important to the story much at all... It only gets two and a half stars out of five. I would have given it two, but when you take out the fact that it's super unmemorable and stuff, it's not a horrible episode. It's not insulting to my intelligence. I'd only give like two stars or below if it's actually insulting me. This kind of annoyed me and stuff, but it did not insult me. So that's all I have to say about this episode. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Is this actually your favorite episode and I'm just bassing it? Do you like me ranting about stuff? I'm kind of ranting. It's been a few days since I've seen the episode, so I'm not full anger. You should have seen me when I first watched the episode. I was like, seriously? That's what we're getting? Ah! But what do you think? Leave a comment in the section below. Until next time, I'm Mayhem, coming to you live from the Discord dimension. And goodbye!